Hi everyone, it's Miss Naima here. I hope you are all doing well and keeping safe at home. So today we'll be reading together from our new class key text this term, which is about Victorians from the book I Witness Victorians. So let's move on and read together. And let me also just quickly zoom up the page a bit and read a bit clearer. Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria came to the throne in 1837. She ruled for more than 63 years and is the longest reigning British monarch. Her reign saw enormous change as Britain built up the world's biggest empire, the largest navy and the most modern industries. When Victoria died in 1901, she was a symbol of British greatness and much loved. Her reign is known as the Victorian age and British people of the time as Victorians. Becoming Queen Victoria was only 18 years old when she became Queen, but took to her duties with enthusiasm and determination. Within hours, she attended her first official meeting with leading politicians. In this corner picture over here, you can see a lovely little picture of Queen Victoria wearing her proud crown of a Queen. Marriage to Albert in 1840, Victoria married her German cousin, Albert. She was devoted to her dear angel, who was her closest companion and advisor. Princess's life. Victoria grew up in Kensington Palace, which is based in London. Her mother was overly protective. Her upbringing was very strict, and she had few companions, or in other words, friends. Hobbies and interests. Throughout her early and married life, Victoria loved music, dancing, etching, and later on writing. She also kept a diary from the age of 13 until her death. Let's move on to the next page, which is about Queen Victoria's family life. And let me also just quickly zoom up the page a little bit more so you can read a bit clearer with me. Family life. Victoria and Albert had nine children, five daughters and four sons. Royal duties allowing, they spent as much time as possible with their children and the close-knit home life impressed the British public. Many of their 37 grandchildren married into royal houses across Europe. As you can see, this picture over here shows Queen Victoria's and Albert's nine children. So five daughters and four sons, that is a very big family indeed. Now, these two pages include a lot of information to take into. So what I want you to do now is get a pencil and a paper ready so that I can test your reading and listening skills. So I will give you two questions to answer. And if you can, try to ask your parents to put them on tapestry for me so I can check your answers. Are you ready? So your first question is, what was the reign of Queen Victoria called? And the second question is, what age was Victor Queen Victoria when she first became queen? Thank you very much for listening today. I hope you enjoyed reading with me. Bye.